Hey guys, Brett here from Gravity Trick Shots. Today we are at a car show, or a car race, and a car show. And there's a lot of exotic cars here. So, we're just gonna be showing you our daily adventure at the car show and or race. how small this car is compared to me. So now we're gonna head down to the race course and watch a couple races. So next time you see us, we're probably gonna be at the race course. Our friend is racing here in a blue car with eyes and a tongue on the car. It's pretty weird, but in a little bit, we'll try and catch him coming around the bend and we'll try and show you his car. I've driven that car for the last 30 years, raced it. Started racing it here in Pittsburgh in 88. And that car was purchased new by the original owner. I don't know what it was, somebody bought it. <laughs> this is the car that we were telling you about. It's really tiny. Um, but if you look at the front, you can see the tongue and the eyes, and it's pretty neat. I'm in, I'm currently in the car. Whoa. This is very interesting. I feel so professional. I feel like if I press that button right there, my seat would spring me up and shoot me into the sky, like in the cartoons. I can just barely reach the pedals. That's the helmet that just got raced in. Like, literally about 20 minutes ago, this car was just used in a race. Oh, I feel like I'm really close to the camera. Thanks, Harrison. I don't actually want to touch that because I feel like I might do something that I shouldn't be doing. And I just don't know how to drive a car. So basically, what I'm about to show you is, this car was made in about the 1940s, and it didn't quite have the technology to keep the hood um, in place while it was driving. So basically they used a, a belt for your pants, mounted a couple clips on it, and basically they just strapped that over the hood and that's how they kept it on. So. Harrison is going to be getting some shots of it while I talk because I have the microphone on, on my camera. And if I'm like really close to the mic, my bad because it's really, really loud.
So basically what you just saw there was the old fashioned gas tank or where you put the gas gasoline for the car in. And this car has two cylinders, which is not very, not, not a lot compared to the current number of cylinders that most cars have. Like a normal car has about six cylinders in it. And here's the two cylinders. And you can see the part that looks like a cheese grater, that's the cylinder. And that's the other part. All right, so currently we're walking to like, um, it's a big parking lot or so what I've heard full of modern day cars like Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, Mustangs, you know, all that. And we're gonna try and get as much as we can while we're there, but um, we're at a very limited time schedule, so we might not get a lot, but next time you see us, will probably be when we're at the parking lot. So we're going up to look at some Lamborghinis and I can already see them. Oh, they're beautiful. This is my first time ever seeing a Lamborghini in, in person. Whew. All right. Oh, they're literally like 50 feet away. Oh, look at them. Oh, whoa, 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 this is sick. Oh. 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 There's like a little rainbow on it. watching and we'll see you in the next video.